What's up YouTube, this is JP Panther, back on video, and today's video is actually another Marvel News Update video, <clears throat> and I want to talk to you guys about this because this, just, this was trending like 7 or 8 hours ago, and again, I was asleep, so I didn't really get to uh, do a video about it right away, but now that I'm, you know, here and I have free time, I could uh, do it right now. So, <clears throat> this article comes from ING, again, I will link the article in the description box down below. It says, Marvel's WandaVision Disney Plus uh, moves up to release date to 2020, 2020. To kick off the new year, Disney has announced that it is moving up the WandaVision show originally for a spring 2021 release. WandaVision is now coming to Disney Plus sometime in 2020. Revealing by Disney Plus on Twitter, the New Year announcement was made with little prompt and could have unnoticed as it was intentionally within a list of uh, titles coming to the service in 2020. A lot still unknown about the series. Evan Feige, blah, blah, blah. It's super, you know, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Again, you guys can read the whole entire thing, but I'm just going to get to the main point. Honestly, I think it's good, and I think the reason why... <clears throat> They're moving it up because this is my personal opinion. Because all these other Disney Plus TV shows, Marvel Disney Plus TV shows, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, right? I feel like they should have done this like right after Mandalorian because it's like this this stuff should have been filmed. Like you guys should have already had something in the works. Because now, if you guys don't know with uh, Disney Plus, again, I will go into a different uh, video. Is that uh, Mandalorian's over? So a lot of people are canceling the subscription to Disney Plus. I have I have personally uh, canceled my subscription to Disney Plus because after Mandalorian, there's nothing for me to watch, and you know, and I get into another video and stuff like that to that. But overall, I just feel like with the Wandavision show, I think they're doing it because a lot of people are canceling the Disney Plus subscription, like myself, and I do feel like they're doing it because they have nothing on there, man. Like, what do you got? You got a bunch of kiddie TV. You got a lot of rated PG PG G family friendly content and a lot of people want more adult it's not a netflix killer so i feel like the reason why they moved wandavision up from instead of uh spring of 2021 to uh 2020 because they're trying to make sure that they keep uh their subscribers and they're making sure that people will still continue the service even after mandalorian and i just feel like yo you guys should disney Plus Disney, you guys are kind of sloppy with this whole streaming thing. Like, you understand, people want these shows now, now. They don't want it later. They want it now, now. At least with Netflix, and Netflix has some good stuff and some bad stuff, blah blah. But they're coming out with some original content with Witcher and stuff like that. But I'm like, with this Disney Plus thing, it's like, bro, you guys should already have the Marvel TV shows right away like as soon as Mandalorian done you have Falcon Winter Soldier then you have uh, WandaVision stuff like that you should already have this stuff planned out like not freaking just do it when they're like oh it's coming in 2020 like bro no like you have to have this now because the problem is we live in a very ADD-ish like uh, social media type era people want it quick 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 if they're not getting it they're gonna go somewhere else to find something different so I feel like Disney when it comes to WandaVision, they are moving it because they want to keep their people and their subscribers. And I feel like they're doing it because they're trying to, you know, get as many of that Marvel crowd uh, into the streaming service or into the service as quick as possible and they can make as much money. So that's just my personal opinion, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think they're going to shot themselves in the foot with this Marvel TV show stuff? Because... In my personal opinion, guys, I just feel like waiting for like, uh, what was it? It's, they said it's going to come around like fall of 2020. So let's say it come, like Falcon Winter Soldier comes out like September of 2020. That means you have to wait eight, eight nine months till your Marvel TV show gets in there. And it's like, no, you should already have this bullshit out there now. Like, don't just wait. You do it now. Like, I'm just saying, man, people are very impatient. So I do feel like you know with marvel and disney they're being very kind of sloppy with the disney plus t the marvel tv shows already especially when the reason why people are buying the service is mainly for the disney plus stuff so i feel like they're gonna lose them i feel like they're gonna lose money in the disney plus stuff i feel like they're gonna lose money when it comes to the shareholders and stockholders and i do feel like um it's a long-term game. I do feel like uh, if the D Disney plus Marvel TV shows aren't like 10 out of 10, I feel like it will come back and bite them in the ass. Just tell me what you guys truly think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care and happy holidays.